the fact that rappers suck isn't good enough for me to say that hip hop is dead. They suck. They suck. There's a bunch of rappers out there that are dope. That are doper. I'm doper than a lot of them. I'm doper than all of them. Yeah. Yeah. You already know, estilo entendido, a staple in your hood, donuts and chili frito, I think of stacking green, you think of big pepino, I roll up on your team, they be like el negrito, de F mano, oye me quedo chido, cuando manejo tiro trago and I sit tan pico, I went to school with a bunch of nacos and pochositos, roll up on the mic and smack hoes like all the moment I heard hip hop was dead, that phrase, my heart broke. I mean, people in the underground have been saying that forever. People have been saying that about music since forever. They said it about jazz. They said it was the devil's music. They said it was about rock and roll. They said it was the devil's music. They said it about funk. It was the devil's music, but it had no class. Everybody assumes that every piece of art is the reason for the demise, is the reason for whatever's going on. They think hip hop is a bunch of materialists or, I don't know, in love with capitalism, etc., etc. I say, yeah, he's spending stupid money on a chain, you're spending stupid money on a house that you can't afford. And maybe he's sending a wrong message to a kid, but his purchase isn't the one that's ruining our economy. You bought the house. You refinanced it, bought a car, bought a boat, used it like a bank account, couldn't pay it back. Messed it up for everybody. It just sounds crazy to me. It's like people aren't even paying attention to the things that they're saying. And they turn around, listen to a 17 year old rapping about getting pussy and then they get upset. Like you weren't thinking about getting pussy when you were 17. Like you weren't thinking about getting pussy when you're 47. Like you weren't thinking about getting pussy when you're 78. When I was eight, hip hop kissed me on my lips and I had nothing but lava to say after that. It was just rhymes and it wasn't based on anybody's idea. It wasn't no theories. It wasn't no reason for liking something. It was just looking at it, taking it for what it was, trying to experience exactly what this artist was giving and going from there. That's where I learned how to write the most. That's why when once I had the opportunity to build for myself and create a workstation where I could just put it down every single day and try to figure out the best way to say something or maybe not to say something. Say things and never say them again and just know that, you know what, that rhyme scheme that Lil Wayne and all them use is whack. Everything is based on the brain. Not every single animal in the world has a brain. We can use it to our advantage. There are processes and there are systems and ways that we understand things. And when we study that, then we can understand how to get at each other better. It makes for better art. The first rap song I ever memorized was Warren G's Regulators. It was a clear black night. A clear white moon warned you was on the street. The second rap song was Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. And I used to rap it going from LA to San Diego for the weekend and then back. So depending on traffic, I was able to rap that song like, in LA probably 48 times. Going from South Central to downtown. I was listening to a lot growing up. And then in 1996, I listened to enough hip hop to start thinking about what I was talking about. And that's when I started having opinions. Before that, I was just eating everything up. Even after that, I kept eating everything up, but it was just like. It just had to have a certain skill. And in third grade, I decided this is what dope is. Helter Skelter, the Fugees, John Forte. People don't even remember him off the Fugees album, off the Carnival album. People don't even talk about the Carnival album. De La Soul. And I didn't listen to him back in the day. I'm talking about AOI and AOI Bionics, Artificial Intelligence. Albums were amazing, influenced me so much. Tony Touch. Thurston Howell the third, 
I remember there was a battle clip they had about this dude. And he said something about, I'll beat you black and blue like he was an African crib. There are a million ways to say all the things that you want to say. Everybody's already said it. Everybody's already felt it. The challenge is getting what you want to say out the way you thought it and getting other people to understand the way you meant it when you said it. And hopefully it's good enough to strike a chord. Hopefully when it hits them, they'll remember it forever. It'll be related to this time. I take it personal cause your man's mad at me for no reason Fascinated at first but attention is love can't retrieve it It's all sugar plums if it's all I don't want it Look at my cookies are but less than my hands is on it Baby MCs these days are going into this introspective mood and I mean that's cool I believe in the same thing you know you can go and analyze your mind and your past relationships and etc etc but don't suck when you do it because if it's whack then it's whack when I listen to hip-hop, I listen to my favorite songwriters and I try to compare them to any songwriter in any language all throughout the world, any time period. The art part is what, I mean, separates you from anybody that does anything. And to me, in order to get to that level, there's a certain kind of work ethic that you need. I mean, you got people with talent that people think they're nice, but I mean, they have nothing on the person that's that nice and spending time honing things. Who can, who can do certain kinds of rhythms for a reason because they recognize that it'll get a certain kind of reaction out of you. And I don't even mean just in music. If you listen to the English language, it's naturally iambic. We have these natural rhythms and there are certain things that we do when we're sad or when we're trying to be romantic. The vocabulary changes. At the end of the day, it's all about what you're trying to accomplish with your art. Certain painters want to cast a new light on the reality that's there and show you that the beauty that exists outside in the world, you know, you can just hang up on your wall so that when you're sitting in the middle of the city, you can think about the meadow. And they did it with paint and they did it with love. And it was that instinct and that inspiration and that moment of creativity that they were able to take all that paint and throw it up on that canvas and boom, there you are with the painting. Sometimes you're not even necessarily trying to express anything coherent. There's just, before language, there was what? You can say hunger, you can say ambre. They're both words for the same idea. It means someone's gonna throw something on the stove for you and cook it. Or maybe you're gonna cook it for yourself. But it all comes from that same thing. So there are these words that we say, but then there's that idea before that. And sometimes in music, that's what you're going for, that idea before the words. And even though what you say might not exactly relate to that, you can still get that mood across to people. And that's what some artists are going for. Sometimes it's biographical, sometimes it's autobiographical, sometimes it's fiction, sometimes it's nonfiction, sometimes it's fantasy, sometimes it's a parable, sometimes it's a metaphor. Sometimes you're introducing a dance, sometimes you're introducing a word, sometimes you're introducing an idea, sometimes you're introducing a city. And I think it's super important. But from the art side, it's not about the content. The content doesn't make the art. The content is the idea that somebody had in their mind before they sat down and wrote something. The art part is the translation of this idea through the medium that you've decided. And if you decided to do hip hop, then 
the way we judge things or is it dope or is it not dope? And if it's not dope, then you're not doing your job and you shouldn't call yourself an artist because you're not working hard enough to do it.